Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today, I'm here with another Charlotte Knights game. Uh, today, I believe we will be playing the Gwinnett Braves. So let's take a look at what the standings have in store for us right now because I uh, actually did quick play some games. So, let's see. The sta let's bring up the standings. So, here are the current standings right here. And uh, the Gwinnett Stripers, not the Gwinnett Braves. But I, I'm, I think they're the Braves minor league team. Though. So, we've got, we're playing the Gwinnett Stripers who are 7-4. and four, And we come in 3-9. and nine. And... Uh, Strangely, all of those wins happen in the quick plays. I haven't actually won one yet as the manager. So we will um, get on with the game. Let's just get on with the game. So let me see what we've got here. Um, yeah, we're missing. We're missing something over here. Center right. I think we're missing our left fielder. Um, so let me see here. We're going to have Lambert pitching, it looks like. And we are missing a left fielder. So. Um, let's go lineups. I don't know. Let me see. Why don't we just go to start game? Yeah, Charlotte. Yeah. All right. So we can't. We got to figure out how to do this. Um, uh, let's see. Okay. All right. I can do it here. Oh, and they, uh, they were nice enough to send Engel down. Well, I, I love Adam Engel, so we're going to put him in. And actually, what we'll do is we'll put Cordell in left, and we will put Adam Engel in center, and, uh, and then, and now we'll go. I'm going to turn the sound down. And away we go. And we're up first. And Cordell at the plate, and he strikes out. That brings up Engel. And Engel is going to fly out, it looks like. And uh, now we've got Jimenez up at the plate. And he walks. And that brings up Preston Tucker. And they threw the ball away trying to pick Jimenez off. Nice. So now a big base hit would be great. And no, that's not going to be. Almost. So we got Lambert out on the mound. Never that's another guy I've never heard of. <clears throat> and 
and he caught the ball all right nice and uh Sean Kazmir is up at the plate. And hopefully that's a ground out. Yes, it is. So two down. So far, so good for Lambert. And he struck him out. So at 0 0, we go into the top of the second. We go into the top of the second with Matt Skoll up. And he's probably going to fly out. Fly out to right. And that brings up El Cities Escobar. And he's probably going to fly out to center. And that brings up Brett Nichols. And that's it. So we go to the bottom of the second. Gwinnett coming up. And uh, facing Lambert and that's gonna be a it's gonna get through the infield for a base hit so we have we have up here Travis Demerite or demerit if you're from the military background and uh, so that brings up Andy Wilkins. Never heard of him, but then again, I'm not a Braves fan. So, so we have two runners on now with one out in the second, bottom of the second. Lambert in a little bit of trouble, and that might be a double play. No, doesn't look like it is, and it wasn't. So runners are at the corners with two away, and. Ryan Lamar up. Now, I've heard of Ryan Lamar. I had him on my strat team last year, and he was this good, too. So they, they knock in a run, and it's uh, they're up one nothing. So anyway, we were doing a, some cleaning lately around my house. I found some old lifesavers from about three years ago, and I was wondering if they were good. And... Um, I did a little reading up on it, and it said if the if the candy is sticky and it loses its um, and it loses its like um, constitution a little bit, then it's probably not good. But the general gist that I was getting from the article was even if it's like that, you could still potentially eat it. So anyway, I went in and I opened them up and they were sticky and they were starting to degrade. So I threw them out. Did not have any of them. And Ryan Goins steps up with one out here. All right, there's an error on the third baseman. Love it. This team doesn't start winning. I might give some of those lifesavers to these guys. But uh, we've got Ryan Cordell up with a man on and one out. And he is going to be out into a double play. So, Gwinnett is still winning one nothing as we go to the bottom of the third. Lambert is still out there dealing, though. And actually, he's pitching pretty well. I mean, you know. Um, and his bar is not getting eaten up as quickly his like tiredness bar his whatever stamina bar it's not getting eaten up as quickly as has happened in the past with some of my other pitchers if you watch some of my past games some of my pitchers I brought in they were like they come in and they almost immediately get tired so he strikes out that third guy there and uh, so we're still losing one nothing which is a lot better than this team has been doing, in the at least in the games I've played. We're usually we usually end up getting killed, but there's a base hit. So we have uh, Adam Engel, my man. Adam Engel got on, and now come on, Jimenez. And no, he strikes out. One out, and Preston Tucker up. I mean, it's like nobody can hit. Well, he got hit. He got hit. But that still doesn't mean he can hit. 
Now that brings up Matt Skoll. And, ooh, the ball got past the catcher, and runners advanced to second and third. All right, now we got a golden opportunity here. Skoll has got to capitalize here. And what happened there? You swung at a pitch that almost hit you. All right, two down, and El City's Escobar. And he did the same thing, swung at a pitch that nearly hit him. Great. All right, so Jimmy Lambert is up. No, Jimmy Lambert is still, yeah, Jimmy Lambert is the pitcher, and he's still pitching. And he strikes a guy out, and this dude is dealing. It'd be a shame if we can't even get him one run. And that was a base hit. Uh, speed is a 45 for demerit, so I don't think we have to watch him. And that's going to be a fly out. And Pedro Florimon, I've heard of him. And he hits a double, unfortunately. And that's going to knock in a run. So, they have a 2 nothing lead now. And uh, Brian Lamar, Ryan Lamar up, the guy that was on my team last year, my strat team last year. And he's out. So, it's 2 nothing now. Still, you know, Lambert's pitching well. I got to give it, you know, I got to give that to him. But he's, uh, we're just not getting anything off of this guy and he strikes out the catcher strikes out and that brings up DJ Peterson probably another guy that the White Sox gave to me that I uh, don't need and there are two outs and Ryan Goins up and he's gonna rip a base hit Fortunately, we can't string hits together or, you know, get any really kind of uh, cohesive attack going here. Cordell is up, and he got a ripping, ripping a hit. But there's two outs, so, you know, we really have to have somebody come through in the clutch here. And this team is not big on coming through in the clutch. And that's Adam Engel is up. And he's out. So see, you know, but it's, it's still only two nothing. I mean, you know, and Lambert's dealing. So we got a shot. We do have a shot. There's a walk. Let's see. Yeah, Lambert is only, I mean, he's only about halfway gassed, which is not too bad. Although that's he's working on getting really gassed. I'm gonna guess that he was safe and he was. So runners at the corners, one out. Austin Riley up. Oh man, and the ball got past the second base. How was that a double play? I don't know, but I'll take it. I'll certainly take it. All right, it's 2 nothing, top of the sixth, and uh, Eloy Jimenez is up. And did he go deep? Did he? No. He flies out to center. Uh, Preston Tucker is up. I want to tell everybody too. I want to take this chance to tell everyone I'm doing a Stratomatic White Sox 2020 season, and I will have many of these same players on that team. And uh, that season will be starting on April 6th with the first two games of the year against the Twins. And uh, so be on the lookout for that. Um, or actually at this point, yeah, at the point I'm putting this up, the first two games have already been played. But anyway, yes, I'm going to be doing the White Sox Stratomatic 2020 season. 
the first two games should already have been played and the um, and games three and four should be coming up very soon. But right here, we've got Lambert getting his ass handed to him. So what we're going to do is probably, oh wait, no, this is the, uh, oh, this is us doing this. Nice. So we got El, El Cities Escobar and Skoll on at first and third with Nicol Nicholas up, Brett Nicholas up at the plate and uh and but two outs and again we squandered the opportunity see i'm sitting here telling you about my white Sox season that i got going on that we're you know doing and i lost all concentration on this game but we're still only losing two nothing here so, um, Rafi Lopez batting against, uh, all right, I think he's, I think he's starting to get gassed. Yeah, he's, he's getting close. So let's, uh, let's go to the bullpen and get Cody Medeiros up. And then go back to the game. And he walks the next guy. So there's two on and no outs. But he strikes the next guy out. That was key right there. That was huge. Now if he can get a ground ball double play, he's out of the inning. But he cannot. Let's see if that's a fly ball, though. It should be a fly ball, and it is. So two down and uh, yeah, two down runners at first and second. Gonna hope he can get out of this and he can, it looks like, and he does. So looks like Medeiros is coming in in the uh, in the eight or in the bottom of the seven. In the top of the seventh, though, we're still down by two. And we're in a very manageable game, and that's going to be a ground ball to the third baseman and an out. And then we've got uh, Ryan Goins, who is classified as a spray hitter. I, I, yeah, I'll go along with that. And then uh, Ryan Cordell. And looks like he's going to rip it through, rip it through for a base hit. But again, he does it with two outs. And we have a bunch of guys that are not really dudes that rise to the occasion. Like this guy right here, Adam Engel. He did get a base hit or something this game. But right there he strikes out. All right, I'm going to the pen. And it says Medeiros is ready, as I suspected he is or would be. And there we go. And Cody Medeiros gets his ass handed to him immediately as he comes out to pitch. And that's going to be a triple. Lead off triple. Well, you know, 3 nothing would look kind of insurmountable. Not as bad as what we usually do. We usually get our, really get killed. But, um, but three nothing is bad enough. And they bunt, and they don't get the out because the uh, second baseman covering the, the first base just uh, couldn't handle the, the throw. So now we have all kinds of problems. But there's a strikeout. That was nice. One away. Um, you got Rafi, Rafi Lopez up to play, it looks like. And he strikes out. All right. Maybe, maybe if he can stop the damage right here, that would be great. 
Uh, yes, he can. No, he can't. The dude just let that drop. That was a crazy bad play by the right fielder. I mean, I'm not even fast, and I used to play right field, and I'll tell you, I would have had that ball. All right, well, now it's 5 nothing, so there's no way we're winning this game. I mean, I'm going to call that right now. Here is Jimenez up at the plate. It's the same old story, you know. We win when I do the quick plays, but, uh, and not even all the time when I do the quick. I mean, it's not like three and nine is a great record, but, um, but we never, we never win when I'm managing, when I'm actually watching or managing. Whoa. Well, we got two guys on here. Maybe we can start the comeback. With El Cities Escobar, and he strikes out. And that brings up Nicholas, the catcher. And he strikes out. So, again, not really. All right, Maderos strikes that guy. No, he walks. He does strike that guy out, though. So, one out, one runner on. And we get the lead runner, and we don't get the back end runner. So, two outs, man at first, we're down 5 nothing, And then the catcher can't handle the pitch. So the guy on first moves down to second. I mean, I don't think it really matters. We're not going to get five runs, let alone, you know, whatever. And now the bases are loaded. And that is a nice high fly ball, looks like. So it's still 5 nothing, but now we're in the top of the ninth, and we absolutely have got to have five runs right here. This team makes me want to eat those lifesavers. All right. So that's a strikeout. And, uh, yeah, two down. Two down, and that is going to be a double? No. Supply ball. So this is what happened. We lost 5 nothing. They squelch our offense. Yeah, well, it's not like we really ever had much of an offense. So here's the box score for the hitters. Let's take a quick look at that. We were 5 for 32 in the game, batting. And obviously, no runs. Lambert pitched valiantly, but he had to leave. And Medeiros really did. So we will leave the game... We will finish today, and uh, so yeah, we got Jordan George, um, oh well, let's see, ruptured medial collateral ligament, six days left, no, no, so eight to nine months, I would think. Roach, two to three weeks, four weeks for Jacob Lindgren. Yeah, got a lot of injuries to deal with. On top of being a bad team. So, anyway, that's, uh, that, I guess that's going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off for the night.